It's easy to be a fighter when you're winning. When you're not winning, that's when it gets more difficult. I think when I'm running, it's when I'm truly me. I can be inside my own head for a long period of time. I love the fact I can go hard and run quick, and then that being reinforced by some numbers on a stopwatch. And other people might not find that exciting, but each time I put in like more effort and more effort, these numbers are going down. That's an amazing feeling. Meet Bobby Clay. The 22-year-old British athlete dominated the long distance and cross-country circuits as a junior runner, claiming multiple national titles. Bobby joined England's Loughborough University aged 18 to study and train. Her coach is Rob Denmark. Bobby came here four years ago now. I thought she was a very feisty, um, talented athlete who had, had a lot of drive, um, had a lot of success. Um, as a junior, um, and when she kind of asked me to coach her, uh, obviously I said yes, and it, it, was, it was a privilege to coach someone of, of, of her calibre. Um, and in the first year, it, 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 was, it was a good, uh, successful uh, relationship. It was at this point in her athletics career that she started to make a real impression. She clinched titles at the 2015 1500 metre European Junior Championship in Sweden and the 2016 Great Edinburgh Cross Country International. Hands down, winning European Juniors 1500 metres in 2015 was the best race of my life. It was amazing. I genuinely had the season of my life with Rob. I'd done some crazy, amazing sessions. I sort of made, I made myself known more in the senior world that year. I got to run in some diamond leagues, which is, which is insane. Just, just being there was insane. Um, and everything was going so well. Two years before, Bobby and her sister Alex competed in the junior women's team event at the World Cross Country Championships. A shared passion for running, the Clays currently live together in Loughborough. Before we came to Loughborough, we both had the same coach, but he'd never trained like girls, and especially girls pre-puberty. He'd always had a squad of boys, and training boys and men is very different to girls before they go through puberty and then when they're going through puberty. Soon after joining Loughborough, Bobby Clay's breakthrough in athletics had to come to a halt. Years of overtraining and undereating had resulted in a number of unusual bone-related injuries. So her coach, Rob, advised her to take a DEXA scan on her bones. The first we knew that there, there was a bit more of a, an issue was when she was just swimming at the end of the season. And she just did a tumble turn in the, the swimming pool and she got a pain in her, in her foot and it was diagnosed that she actually had broken her foot. And that wasn't right, that, that shouldn't have happened when she kind of pressed against the, the side of the pool. I had no inclination that there was something wrong until there was the pool incident. And I felt a crunch, I heard a crunch, but no one breaks their foot in the swimming pool. Bobby was diagnosed with osteoporosis, a health condition that weakens bones, causing them to become fragile. It also affected her ability to have a period, so Bobby was put on hormones. Despite the condition, she's fiercely resilient and is determined not to let it hold her back from reaching her potential. My bones aren't strong enough to allow me to run or really do weight-bearing activity, so I'm on a bike, working my heart and lungs and all that system as much as I can, ready for when they say it's good to go, we're good to go together. At the moment, she's taking some time out. I think she's kind of accepted that that's the way it has to be. Uh, she's kind of channeling that, that inner drive in, into her, her cycling, which is going really well, and she loves it. So she, and she's able to kind of hurt herself in training because she can't do that in running. I had a point where I was very much a shell. I lost a lot of confidence. 
I didn't really know who I was and I, I had to learn who I was again before I even applied it to any kind of sport or any kind of training. Um, but I know the second now I can do what I want to do, there's going to be very little that scares me because it's been a scary journey so far and I'm still here, so. Bobby is taking the first steps on her road to recovery. She hopes that path will lead to her ultimate goal of competing at the Olympics. If it was anyone else, I'd say there's probably no chance, but if anyone's gonna do it, it will be Bobby, because she's never once said, oh, it's not possible. I truly believe that I am meant to do this, because I've got an engine and it needs, it, it needs to be put to use. If I can run, and fulfill my potential in that way and make other people smile at the same time, then I've achieved all I want to achieve.